Russell, thank you for uh, accommodating us here today. Great to have a look around your machine shop. Uh, you are here in Billingborough, which is, I have to say, is quite away from, from anywhere. Uh, but you're a successful company, aren't you? Can you tell us a little bit about Bernard Holmes? Yeah, well, we started uh, in 1960. Bernard Holmes started the company. Um, and my late father took the business on 1979. Um, and then myself, my cousin, Simon and Kay, my mother, carried the company on um, uh, 2006. I do love the way this machine shop's laid out. A lot of machine shops we go into, they're very crammed, they're, 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 you know, they don't have much space, but they try and get as many spindles in one area as they can. Looks like here you've got quite a lot of room for growth, haven't you? Yeah, we've got plenty of room. Yeah, we've got enough room to keep going forever, basically. Yeah, we're, we've got plenty of land outside. We've got planning permission on all of it as well. And it's what are you making? Going. Tell us about what you do here. Uh, the bulk of the work we do in our CNC machine shops, probably hydraulic, diesel engine parts, mainly cast iron. Probably 40-50% of the work we do is cast iron. Um, all turning and milling. Um, and then we do lots of bits and pieces in between, really. Uh, a few years ago, you embarked upon a journey of investing in some quite high-level technology, which we have behind us here from, uh, from Matsura. You chose this type of machine, this horizontal machining centre, firstly, the one behind us, because you wanted to be different to some of your competition, didn't you? Tell us about that story. Uh, yeah, well, the first thing was we were doing bigger and bigger batches on, on our smaller machines, which single table machines. It wasn't really competitive enough to, to keep doing it that, like that way. Um, so we decided that we needed to get horizontal, and we initially thought two pallet, twin table machine would be plenty good enough. Um, that's what we went looking for. Um, and then when we uh, finally decided that a Matsura was what we wanted, we, we kind of had a look and uh, Dom at Matsura more or less pointed out to us that a five pallet machine would be a better buy than a two pallet. You know, if you're going to do it, get five rather than two, was what he said. And was he right? No. No, he wasn't actually, no. Because he should have sold me a 15. And if you'd have had a, if you'd have had a 15, uh, you know, you would have had even more pallets, but th the fact you've got this machine here yeah. means you've got more work, so you could have filled a 15 pallet now, yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, we could, definitely, yeah. And do you think the reason you've got more work or you've managed to uh, yeah, get more of the volumes of what you're doing is because you've managed to uh, cut the production time down, you've managed to streamline how you make the parts and basically give your customer, um, uh, uh, you know, a better value product? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, if we carried on on our single table machines, there's a limit to how much sort of high volume work we could take on because it would clog the machines up for too long. We wouldn't be able to keep every customer happy because we'd have long running jobs on all of our machines. And uh, the main reason for buying these mat series was for that, you know, to put all of the long running work on, into a cell on its own. Now every story an engineer has, a, has kind of a different theme. Um, we, often we talk about accuracy and precision. Now it, it's fair to say it isn't all about that here with this part. In fact, let's pick one up here. Um, if you could maybe just have that in your hand, Russell. It's yeah. not all about precision, is it? This is about getting the part off reliably and quickly. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, there is quite, a, there is a certain element of precision in it. You know, the bores are all tied up and everything, but it's all form tools, and generally, they hold tolerance in cast iron day in, day out, no trouble. It's, it's more about being able to get six parts off in one run time rather than one, you know? And it's about having five different types of these set up on the machine, and we can change from, five minutes in between changeovers really and, and this part is ideal for a horizontal isn't it the fact yeah. you can t tackle three faces yeah, we, using using the cube setup yeah we have to turn it twice we have to sorry turn it over once in the cycle you know in the machine so uh, we we finish up with six finished parts every cycle um, so we have to turn it but um, yeah, we're just having machining on every side, it's just perfect for horizontal. And does the fact that it's a horizontal with the, the, the swarf falling away, all of those things keeps you, 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 you know, your, your bores clean? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, massive difference compared to doing it on a vertical. But you wouldn't be afraid of taking on precision, real tight tolerances either, would you, with these machines? Because you have seen uh, how accurate they can be. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, at the end of the day, although um, positionally these aren't tied up, the bores and things are all still tied up. You need a good spindle. You know, your tools need to be running perfectly true still, you know, things like that. You know, every part, every dimension is plug gauged on these parts, and the bores are all tied up still. So, you know, positionally, they're not so important, but. And you went to Emo to look for a machine when you first thought about, yeah. um, you know, going on this journey, and you had 10 or 15 manufacturers on your list to go and look at. 
These guys weren't one of them, were they? No, there wasn't, no, because we didn't think we could afford one, to be honest with you. We just thought it was out of our league, which was wrong. I was wrong to think that, but... Because, because of the fact that it's given you such a good return on investment, because these machines are essentially almost like a, a parts vending machine, aren't they? Elaborate on that. Well, that, that was how Dom sold the machine to me, and, and that struck a chord with me straight away, really. You know, we're subcontractors, you know, the phone rings and the plan changes. Sometimes five, ten times a day the plan can change. The ability to be able to just literally turn, turn to one of our operators and say, we need to change what we're doing, and five minutes later it's running on a different job. That's, that's the main, the and, main uh, selling point for us. And what is the model behind us? Just tell us this model that you have here. Um, H plus 300 PC5. Okay, so it's a five pallet, 300 pallet horizontal machining centre, isn't it? How many tools do you have? Um, we've only got 120 on this one. Um, again, will it be in our first machine? We were used to machines that had 16 tools, 20 tools. We just thought 120 was crazy, you know, when we first looked into this. And, um, but it is enough tools to satisfy the need of your five pallets. Yeah, yes, it is. But if we wanted to add more, we can. I think I believe we can add go up to 240. So. Okay, and then this machine here. Uh, this is the MAM 72. This has got 32 pallets on this machine. It's a five-axis machine. Yeah, yeah. We uh, picked this up as a second-hand machine from a, uh, a Formula One team. Um, they were reinvesting and um, this came up and it was, uh, a, it was another Matsura which appealed to us and um, it was in such good nick we, we, we couldn't turn it down really. Has it been a good purchase? It was a fantastic purchase, yeah. Um, we've still got one man running two machines, you know, and uh, that's the beauty of it really. Yeah, well Matsura installed the machine for us and sort of helped us, you know, they did the deal so to speak and um, they brought the machine in, trained us and everything else. Whereas we, we, we wanted more pallets and more options. We didn't necessarily want full five axis, which is what we got, but we didn't really need that. We needed, we needed the 32 pallets and to be able to run five jobs on one, five pallets and be able to have more of a sort of vending machine idea, like Dom originally, how Dom originally sold us the, the other one. And are these two solutions uh, a lot different to you, or do they kind of really churn out the same work, but maybe just uh, in a different format? Um, we found since we've had them, you know, um, work sort of come our way because we've bought the machines as well. You know, like since people realise that you've got some serious capacity to work, um, sort of the amount of hours that these things will work. You know, one man they're running now. We're in tea break now, and they're both running. You know, um, that makes all the difference. You know, quarter of an hour in the morning, half an hour at dinner.